Yong Hee Loki was staring into my soul and I'm suing, I'm calling a lawyer. Like we are basically holding hands. Today I'm going to be talking about my CIX concert experience. I am filming this in mid-May, but I have just had a lot going on and I wanted to wait until I was moved in my new house and until I had the group picture. So I have it now and I moved and so now I'm ready to talk about it. Let's just get into it. Um, first, I have like all these notes in front of me, so if I'm looking down, sorry. Um, so first I will talk about just like, I'll give like a recap of everything from getting the ticket to posting on Instagram. So I first got the ticket when they went on sale. I think it was like the beginning of January and I had gotten a pretty far seat. Also, I had the VIP Platinum, so I got that because the Platinum, the official Platinum, it was just so overpriced and I wasn't gonna pay that for like a standard admission. I had gotten that ticket and like a few days before the concert, which was in March, I had exchanged it on Ticketmaster. I like called them and yeah, they let me do it because the ticket had to be either the same price or a higher price, I think. So yeah, I did that and I got a way closer seat and I'm so glad that I did that because they did drop the prices like right before the concert. So I was able to do that. That's why I didn't have to pay official platinum, which a lot of people did. So tip, if you can just wait and try to exchange it if the price is right. So yeah, so I started planning my look. I'm always like, a big planner when it comes to my concert outfits pretty much any outfit but especially for concerts and i had originally wanted to do like the racer concept like their 458 concept um this keeps falling i might just leave it off i can't adjust the strap and i hate it but then i was like no everyone's probably gonna do that which everyone did end up wearing i saw a lot of like racer jacket type outfits so i was glad that i chose a different route i ended up going like really girly i took a lot of inspo from feel my rhythm from red velvet i don't know why i just like it's like springtime i felt like it was a very springy girly concept and i really liked their style for that concept so it was pretty much like sugi and irene's looks mixed together with like the baby pinks and like the soft hairstyle soft makeup like glittery denim so yeah my final look ended up being like a, a glittery top with actually this skirt that i'm wearing right now it's like a high-waisted denim skirt that's like ruffly it's actually a skirt but whatever i like that better um for concerts it's just more secure and like you know it's nice to have shorts under when you're at a concert you know <laughs> so yeah my look was a long process because i had a vision of what i wanted and it was hard to get all the stuff i got everything from yes style but it just took a really long time so if you're planning your look you know 
it's never too soon that's what i always oh my gosh that's what i always learn because i'm like oh my gosh i'm doing this months in advance but it literally takes months sometimes especially yes style because they even sent me an email they were like we don't know when this is going to come in stock like you can either cancel it now or just wait longer and i was like i'm just gonna wait and it did end up coming so i always feel silly like ordering stuff so in advance but then i'm like it takes that exact time like i don't think i even had much time to like try on my whole fit before like everything had just arrived in time pretty much and like i don't know i have a whole video up already if you want to see like my getting ready process i made like my light stick um charm i redid my light stick i made like this choker for it i made some rings for it i think i dyed my hair and like just just all the things it's like an excuse to give myself a makeover and i love it um but especially if i do like a vip or a group photo i especially want to look better i guess than normal so at the concert i met a lot of friends um it felt like a nice reunion because even during the concert bx said during like the ment he was like who was here from last year and like everybody raised their hand so i was like yeah so that was nice the people were very nice i just felt like it was all these girls like complimenting each other's outfits and like becoming friends so i love that so since i did have vip i was waiting for a while but it wasn't that bad it was really cold for me i was like shivering the whole time i don't know if people around me noticed but i was like i was trying to be composed but like the nerves mixed with coldness makes me shake really bad and i don't know if any of you guys get like that but it's kind of embarrassing like i just i shake so easily and i don't know why. I also get cold really easily, so yeah. I waited in like the lounge areas and it was a nice venue, so I wasn't worried. It was just like, I was annoyed that I was so shaky and I'm like, what is wrong with me? Because I wasn't like nervous about anything then, but I think just like the adrenaline, I don't know. But I didn't, I don't think I had adrenaline. I just like, I think the cold really just gets to me. I hate being cold. After waiting, we got like sat in line, in the line that we were in. Cause our venue was assigned seating, but for soundcheck, it was just like whoever first come first serve. So I was literally in the same spot as my seat, except it was like a row of ahead, so. That was nice, but it wasn't like anything different. I was still in the same place. That just happened to happen that way. But yeah, they sang Rewind and Switch It Up, which they did rewind last year. I was hoping for Bend the Rules, but it's okay. I like, I like Rewind a lot. It's one of my favorites. And Switch It Up, I had never heard them perform anywhere. So that's good. And yeah, I was really excited then because I was like, oh my gosh, they're so close. And they there was a lot of like stage interactions at that time, if you know what I mean. So yeah, I also forgot to talk about the merch. They immediately just put us in the merch line, which that's pretty much first come, first serve. My posters from both years, you can't really see, but they're back there. And if you watch my vlogs, I'm gonna hang them on the opposite wall that I'm looking at right now. The posters are at the very end, like after the concert and the group photos, but we, I got the signed albums, which it was like fine. The guy that did the checkout was very nice. <laughs> I don't have much to say about that. I already have a video unboxing that merch, so if you wanna go see that, check out the video from, I think, March. I think I filmed it like the day after the concert. So, getting to the concert, when it started, um, actually it's funny because my friend was taking pics, like we all wanted to take pics and her friends came up to us and were like, let's go take pics. She was like, oh, come with us. And I was like, okay. And then she started taking pic 
she started taking pics of me first, like in front of the stage. And it was so close to the stage that the show was like starting as the flash was flashing. So that was really funny. I got so nervous because everyone was like staring at me because I was literally in front of the audience, like in front of... The stage was really close to the seats, so that was awkward, but... Yeah, and the guy was like telling my friend like, stop, you can't do flash. But she had already done it, which is how I got the pics that are on my Instagram right now. So thank you to her. That was just funny, cause I, I like, I'll put in the intro of the concert. <laughs> funny because I remember like seeing the lights from the corner of my eye and I'm like oh snap it's starting they're coming out like right now I got there I got to my seat like right before they came out so so they started with numb which is my favorite song from them <laughs> Hard to pick a favorite but if i have to think about it i always go back to numb it's like the first song i heard from them where i was like oh my gosh like what is this song i loved how they did bad dream because i was hoping they would do that last year which they didn't so <laughs> it was very dramatic <laughs> i'll try to find footage of it but Yonghee's hair, <laughs> like, I don't know what he does to his hair, but it's like, every time, he like always is brushing his hair back, and it's always in front of his face, like, so, it's like a full mop in front of his eyes, like, right in front of his eyes, and I just kind of felt bad, but I'm like, cut your hair. They have something against showing foreheads or something. I saw him so many times, like, just like, trying to look past his hair. <laughs> Their solo stages were amazing. I was so glad that they did solo stages because every time I go to a K-pop concert, I hope that they do solo stages. I feel like it's so rare. I don't think I've ever... I think BTS was the only concert where they had actual solo stages. Oh, Monsta X did it this year. I mean, this past tour but yeah they would always do duos before even card did duos i'm trying to think like my favorite songs that they performed i want to say bad dream and what you wanted i feel like the crowd was really hyped during what you wanted when they do like that ending part <laughs> gets so wild um but yeah they love that song they did like it that way 458 without you <laughs> three two one It was pretty same to the set list last year, but I don't mind because their songs never get old to me. My favorite of the solo stages was Hyun Socks because it's such a like nost nostalgic. I don't want to say nostalgic. That sounds like it's really old, but it was like when I first started college, um, and I saw him perform that live and in, in his like first tour. So it was nostalgic. I guess that was long enough ago. But yeah, I just love that song and I love how he, I feel like he never does stuff like that. So it was interesting and like with the little phone bit. Um, yeah, and it was the only one where I really knew the song. 
no offense to the other songs like i think like vocal wise Sungun was definitely up there I'm building my hopes up. i just think like hyunsuk's was the most fun and the song choice was superb and he was just so cute in it so at the end of the concert they did do an encore which last year they didn't which is so weird because the song, I mean, the concert was still so short. It felt so short and like, I think it started at like 7.30ish and it ended at like 9. And it ends like, they're so, <laughs> they're so on time. It started exactly, pretty much exactly when they said they would and it ended like right on the dot at 9. And I'm like, okay, like <laughs> with an encore ended at 9 something. So yeah, that was very interesting. I think they're like, you know, we have a bedtime. We're gonna get to it, we're tired. So yeah, they did the encore with Cinema and I wanna say Drown in Love, but I think, I think it was a different. Oh, I think it was the one. <laughs> Sungun's cartwheel at the end was very interesting. <laughs> Shouted something and then I just saw him. I like barely got it on camera because I thought it was over and then he he always does something at the end. He did that last year too, where he's just like he comes back out. So after the concert we were lining up for the group photo and we were so anxious about how it was gonna turn out about, about like i was so anxious about it because i just really wanted an interaction and a cute pic and i didn't know what order they were standing in so I, like, my whole group was trying to figure it out. They were so secretive with the order, like, and they stood in a different order every time, like, every stop. Normally, like, they're really good about standing in the same formation, you know, like, they're known for that formation. So it's weird that they're just like, any order goes this time. <laughs> they, my friends were, like, asking the people who had just taken the picture because it's, like, the way that it goes, they're like behind a black like screen. They covered up the backdrop so because last year we could kind of see through it and we saw them walking up so we knew who was like generally there. And like even walking up to our turn, it was very visible. Like we could just see the group in front of us and it was like we go and we're the next group. Like we could see what was going on, but this time we could not see anything. Like even when we were the next group, they bring us on all really fast. I was like, this is so crazy. Like, it's not that big of a deal, guys. It's not that serious. I'm assuming they do that just for like logistical purposes. Like they don't want people trying to move and stuff, but it's like, I feel like we could do it fast. Anyway, I didn't care that much, but like that was a lot of um, extra precaution from them. But yeah, when we even asked people, they couldn't even remember the order that they were standing in, even though they had just taken the picture. So we had no luck. So it was a surprise. I was like the second to last person in the group of 10. It was like Yonghee, and Hyunsuk and I was like directly in front of Hyunsuk, but Yonghee was very close to him. Since I was in front of Hyunsuk, oh, okay, so like I remember walking, they were like, the guy was like, okay, come this way. Like when it was our turn, he was like, okay, okay, okay. Like shouting so loud, like, bro, calm down. Um, but I was like, oh my gosh. And then I turned the corner and I could see them and I was like, oh my gosh. And like Yonghee's, contacts were so piercing this time like last year i remember it being jinyoung that was like really just like there 
but this time it was definitely Yonghee. I only remember really interacting with Yonghee and Hyunseok because they were right there. And I felt like, I know it's like a typical thing for people to be like, oh, it was so rushed. Like they never give us enough time. They're pushing us through. But I felt like that one in particular, in my opinion, like it was a little longer. Like it felt like long to me that I was sitting there and I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I say? Like, I don't know. But so when I turned the corner, I saw them and Yonghee was distracting. But since I knew I was in front of Hyunseok now, I looked at him and we were, I was like, uh, I think I said like, Kachi Hatu, Kachi Hatu something. Basically like, can we do the heart together? And I like did that with my hand and I will insert the picture. It's probably in the thumbnail if you haven't seen it. It's definitely on my Instagram. So yeah, but like he knew right away. I didn't even have to say anything. He was just like, oh, mm. <laughs> I was like, okay. I can't with myself. So then, uh, like, I, I said that like before I sat down. So I was like facing him, and I asked him, and then like I, we put our hands together, and then I sat down. I think, that's what I remember, cause I remember, like him putting his hand like on mine, before we took the picture, and I was like, oh my gosh, like. <laughs> We are basically holding hands, but he was cool through the whole thing. And I was like, I probably was not, but I tried to make it seem like I was. And so yeah, then we took the picture. We took two, even though we only got one, but I have to practice forgiveness. So I'm trying to let it go. Yeah, so we did that. And I, I was like this, I think. Yeah, it was definitely this hand. And I was faced this way, which I remember because it's not my good side. I would rather be like this, but everyone else was on that side. Because like I said, I was at the end, so it would be weird to face the other way. And he would he would have probably been facing that way too, so it would be weird if I was like opposite. But yeah, and then we took the pics and then we stood up. We got to like talk to them, I felt like. I felt like I was standing there for a good few seconds before walking because I just waved to the rest of the members. There wasn't much time for that, but I was like, I remember turning around and like looking up and I was like, I was like, I was like thank you. I was like, thank you. I, I don't know why I, I said it in English. I don't know, like I'm Korean. I can say it in Korean, but I don't know. I wish I had talked to Yonghee though, because I felt like that would have been a very intriguing experience. <laughs> Yonghee low-key was staring into my soul. It's very interesting, because during the ment, um, not the ment, the video that they show like in between, the VCR, VCR. Um, Sumun's interview was like, usually Yonghee is like a clean white sheet of paper, but now he's been a little dark lately. And I was like, oh. Yeah, I like remember sitting there and being like, thank you. And then I was like sitting there for a couple seconds and then we walked up and like, yeah, so I, I feel bad for people who had like a really rushed experience. I felt like mine was super, almost too long to the point where like, I wish that I could, I said more, but I didn't know what to say. And I just, you know, you always wish that you could have said more or like, not been so nervous but i didn't it's better than embarrassing myself i feel like so because i'm pretty i don't know i feel like i crack under pressure a lot so the fact that i could even ask him to do anything was good that's a win for me so yeah after we got our posters and i was like oh my gosh that was so crazy like what the heck I was just, I was like, I, I could not speak. I was shivering so much because now they kicked us out. We had to wait outside and it was so freaking freezing. Yeah, then I took some pics with my friends and that was it. So now I guess I should address the debacle 
the group photo gate, if you will. If you didn't go to this concert, just look up like CIX group photo on Twitter and you'll probably get like a billion angry tweets. I talked about it a lot already in my vlogs, so I'm not gonna like get into it into it, but let's just say I had done, well, like, so I knew that people were contacting companies and stuff and I wanted to do it too because I'm like, before I was like, no, I'm just gonna be patient. I'm always like impatient, but I was getting scared to the point that they were gonna say, we lost them all, like, sorry. So I got so anxious. So I just started, I called, I called the venue that the concert was at. They said they didn't know anything. I called Sean Healy. They said they didn't know anything. Then I called Ticketmaster like 50 times until I finally got someone to pick up. It was literally giving me like a busy signal every time. So finally some girl answered and she was like so nice. And she was like, yeah, we'll get this sorted out. Um, and she filed a request for me. And they said it'll take about two weeks, like up to two weeks to get a response which it did and they did solve the problem but it was after the fact and they gave me the old link but nonetheless i'm confused because if you saw the tweet they said and i'm not going to name the company but they said that your respective ticket vendors will have the pictures will send out the pictures whatever and i was like what does that mean like does that mean Ticketmaster or like access or whatever and so I was like, why would Ticketmaster have our pictures? Like, that's so weird. People were like, that's so weird. I'm suing, I'm calling a lawyer. Like, if you guys lost them, you better give me like ugh, my $500 back and like all this stuff. So I think that's when I started calling everyone. It was like, I think it was more when we had first moved here that I was like, okay, I'm just calling. Like I was bored, I had no stuff cause we were moving and I'm like, I am dehydrated and I'm tired and I'm so tired of this. I'm just gonna call. So then I called Sean Healy again and the guy was like, yeah, we've heard about this. We're working on it. We're trying to get things, like we're trying to get the photos sent out soon. They should be out by the end of the week. So this is like day 50 or day 60, I don't even know, but people at that point had already gotten their pictures, like a couple of the stops. And I was like, that's weird because I called Sean Healy a few days before and they said they didn't know it. They didn't know anything about it. So I was like, someone's lying, but I won't, I don't really blame any of the companies. I more blame the tour company because they're the ones that should have specified. Cause I really don't think that the Sean Healy I don't think they knew that they were supposed to send them out and if they did they shouldn't have lied to us but i really think they didn't because the guy that i called prior was like yeah we don't know about that sorry i hope everything gets sorted out but when i called them that second time he was like yeah we know about it we're trying to get it sent out soon like it really sounded like they had just gotten sent the photos that day and we're like um yeah send these all out and do it really fast yeah that was crazy and i'm just glad that i got mine because i know a few people have been sent the links from their stop and they still didn't get their picture which is so devastating so i'm sorry for all of like the bad experiences that people had that's like a really bad look for the company and they're probably gonna get canceled but whatever and i felt so bad for like the people that didn't get their pictures or the people who had blurry pictures or yeah so yeah but yeah i'm just grateful that mine looked cute it you know they i think they did pick the first picture that we took because i don't remember my mouth being open i think i smiled like like that the second time and I was hoping they would pick that one because I remember the second one, I was like, oh wait, fix myself. Like, you know, I feel like I was more prepared, but the first one I was like, what? <laughs> and of course they picked that one. So yeah, next time send both out, please. 
But yeah, there's a lot of things that could have been done better, but I'm just grateful that I finally got them. I remember where I was when I got them. I was in my room um, and I had to go help my mom with something really fast, but like I was standing in the middle of my floor. I was like holding my clothes from the that I packed that I was like trying to put away and then I just dropped them all on the ground and I was like oh my gosh the email came so because after I talked to the Sean Healy presents um it was like the day after that I got them so I was like oh my gosh the emails here the emotions that I felt in that moment and just leading up to it because I feel like the timing was also really bad because like I was moving and going through a lot of things and it was just, it was like a chaotic time anyway. So I'm like, please just give me these pictures so I can feel some type of joy. But then I was like, what if they look bad? <laughs> and that is just overthinking 101. But yeah, cause I saw this tweet, like I don't use Twitter, but for this, situation I had had Twitter and I had been like kind of addicted to looking at it because I was like someone's gonna tweet that they have it and like I want to know when what's going on like what other people are saying so yeah because I was doing my sleuthing and calling on my own but I didn't want I wanted to be in the know still so yeah and someone was literally like what if I get the picture and I'm blinking and I was like um, I was like scared of all these things and I just, I just wanted to see it so that I can know and I wanted to make that post. I knew exactly what I was going to caption it. I knew I was going to put, imagine that. And I knew I was going to, I just knew. So like, I'm glad it came out cute because it was pretty much like what I envisioned in my head. But yeah, that was, that was anticipation like no other. I know it probably sounds crazy and like like kind of stupid to be like freaking out about a picture but it is like it's and I at first I was like oh I don't really care about how it turns out because you know I had a good experience like taking the picture so it wasn't if it looks bad I know that I, act, I at least had a good memory with it even if the memory is a weird face of me it was a good like housewarming present to me to be honest so that was a chaotic end but i feel like that's all i had to mention i want to get this up in time for their comeback so hopefully i can get this posted before i think may 29th well probably for us may 28th so gotta get editing on this now but this was a long one i hope i hope i can edit this down to like not so long but i know their comeback is going to be amazing i ordered their album so i will definitely do an unboxing for that once i get it um so excited thank you guys for watching and let me know what other videos you guys want to see and yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you in the next one. Bye.